I have gone to site administration then I move on to courses under the courses I go to manage courses and categories under manage courses and categories what I do is what I find like these are the options which are coming to me that create a new category or create a new course because I have already created a category so I can straight away create a course that is one thing because I do not want to create a category and I can manage with a miscellaneous category even then I can create a course but I want a separate category for me so I click on create category and then I do all those things like giving the name of the category and then giving it a sort of ID number and then saving it so the category appears here suppose we are cre creating a category number three I want it to be the main category equal to the other two categories so I'm not making it a subcategory or let me let me make it a subcategory under the modal training I'm going to make a category for student training category ID number is three no it is 1.1 .1 here this is four students only I'm creating category number three suppose I am being asked like to I'm being asked to a lot different things now see these are the three categories in the modal training I've got a sub category as you can see how it is written 1.1 .1. and when I'm going to click on create a course it is student training now under the the category which is being selected here let me show you this thing the category which has been selected by me here will be the one which is displayed on the right side so I, I, I click on modal training I can add a course to modal training I click on life skills I can add see I clicked on modal training so here modal training is visible if I click on uh, course this life skills I'll be able to see life skills for that thing so these are the things which are there and we have been like using them properly now I'm moving on to create a new course under Moodle training under the Moodle training every menu or option that you click it buffers and opens. so this is Moodle training I'm clicking on create a course I have unmuted myself so I should be heard mm. we are opening the page which is going to make us add a new course this is where I had left you before T or T or we can say a short break now course full name as suggested by someone is M A C H I N machine okay, I'm making it machine learning just missing the word I name it as ML1 because suppose I want to make it ML2 ML3 or it is for different semesters I can keep it ML I if I want to and where this ML will appear you will see modal training yes it is under modal training show start date is suppose 13th of May and it will end I don't want this course to end course ID number I'm not adding anything this thing you people like uh, wanted me to demonstrate again so I'm deleting it I'm going here I'm copying it I'm coming here and I'm not pasting the link like this what I'm doing I'm going to this button which has got a folded page icon which says insert or edit an audio or a video file insert or edit an audio or video file edit if it is already there insert if it is not there I click on this thing and it is going to give me this option where what are the three options one is link one is video if I tell you one is giving a link one is a video one is an audio audio can be used for podcasts if their embedding is possible we are not working on audios at present we are working on the video thing here when I'm citing you how to put it I rather than clicking the source URL or entering the name I click on video I click here and then put the URL Just so what I'm doing is I am clicking I have paid I have placed this link here exact URL that I copied 
there are some more options here that I can use. I can click on display options. If I click on display options, dear friends, I will see that I can decide the width and the size like the, the, the URL uh, is going to be embedded. So I make it as 642 and then I'll say 248. These are the dimensions I have given. And then advanced settings are show controls, play automatically, muted or loop whether like it stops and it will be played again subtitles and captions i'm not adding any track any subtitle <clears throat> or anything i'm simply doing this thing i gave it a display size and i say insert media now when i have inserted it you can see this video has come here and how i had done i go i went to this place i went to video i posted the link here i gave a size to it if i don't give a size still it will come in a normal size and the video is here this is a description video now here it is i'm not giving any course summary files a pdf or an image can be given here or the syllabus copy can be placed here your curriculum can be added here something as an image we are not doing it now we are moving to course format i click on course format do you see these are the things single activity social format topics format and weekly format I guess I have been uh, able to demonstrate, uh, sir, please enable your video screen. Uh, my screen is visible. Will That's what I can say. So what more chats are here? Yes, sir. Visible. visible, sir. Uh, now thing is we are clicking on course format. We click course format is what course format is like you're running a semester. You are running a weekly course. You are running uh, an annual course type of thing. You uh, we are telling you to opt for topic format we are not opting for a weekly format at present just to check it and single activity is one activity there are no topics only one activity so even if there is one single activity suppose you are working on a on a on a like identify photo photosynthesis in in plants this is one project given to them there is no topics there are no subtopics there are no explanations so we can make it single activity but today we people are learning topic format because we generally have got those four quadrants uh, in designing the online courses but we have got four units three units three modules four modules six modules at max but generally four modules are there so we go with topic format how many sections under the topic so you take one topic and i'll say i'll go with five sections and my plan is that i will be giving four units of the syllabus means explanations and the fifth section will have the evaluation i can make it four three and it can be added later also not a problem so here we are just going with four and my plan is that these four will have unit one unit three unit four unit five something like that and uh, i'm not changing anything here these are default i don't mind it appearance these are the options i'm not changing anything files and uploads maximum upload size means this setting determines the largest size of the file that can be uploaded to the course on Moodle cloud if you make this site Moodle site it is only 1 MB single MB here a maximum of 100 MB file can be uploaded at one time suppose you want to upload your own audio video or a document here we have got it from YouTube you can upload your own thing also like if I click here I click on this browse repositories I can click on upload file and I can I can upload a, a video of my own also that I have with me suppose I go to the folder in which we have got that thing we'll just find a particular video sort of a description of Moodle is there what is Moodle so this is the video that I have brought and then I can upload it also this file will be uploaded and it will be there on my site the the weight of this file will be there the size of this file will be there on my my site which has got those 10 gb so insert the media now what is moodle has been inserted the moment we'll save it you will be able to see see this is here so if they people will click on this thing they people will find it i'm deleting it because we are we have worked on the what do you say url segment at first 
let me bring that link again i'm moving back i'm going to add a video i'm adding this thing to the course summary video i don't click on link i click here added upload the file oh wait 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 we are embedding the files actually what is moodle is there the file is already there in our stock so what i'll be doing i'll just go back it has already been placed by us here we have already added a file so i click here i go here i say insert media so this is the media i can click on this drop down show hide advanced buttons i can get it in the center at best the size could have been changed where we had inserted this link and uh, my friends who have got mathematics as their subject they can check out that this particular option is there to help them if i click on this this is equation creator in every segment now you can i'm demonstrating it to you wherever you are going to add a content or something this word description will be there and the interface is all same all these things will be there so this is the all calculator you can see and it is using tex so people who are dealing with mathematics or calculations they know what tex format is like so these are being used equations are possible so when you people are going to add contents to the pages it will be helpful course format topic for now role renaming at present please remember we are just creating a course what do you want like you want the course creator to be called as admin you can rename the manager will be called the head of the department the teacher will be called teacher a student will be called a learner so these are the roles you are taking or we and we are not changing all any other thing and then we are just save and return save and display generally we go with save and return so till here you people have done kindly complete all these things and come back to save and return and this is not applicable on those who are not doing all the steps those who have been doing it only those people should do and report uh, those friends who are keeping a close watch on all the things happening and will be doing it later they can still keep an eye You can leave the roles as it is, Dr. Anand, not a problem. Now, let me see, let me show you what we are not going to attach anything in the course uh, description. Please remember, you, you just created those four topics. The moment we are going to save and display, you will see that there is the option topic one, topic two, topic three, topic four. There we are going to do all these things. Just I mean, we are just five minutes away from the comprehensive bundle of beautiful offerings from Moodle. Because once you are there, your curiosity will be satisfied and you will find all those things. Now see, this is the dashboard. If I click on customize this page, I'll be able to add blocks here like course categories, private files, online users. These are the blocks or the calendar has been added. These ads are going to be displayed by them because they people have given us a free hosting. So I click here. I can change the profile, the passwords and all these things. The name can also be changed from here. I can add an image to my profile from this thing, edit the settings, change the password. All these things are here. These are the things that I could do. Edit profile. I'm coming back to site administration. Please see at, pre at present. At present, site administration is the most important menu for you. Under the site, we go to courses. In the courses, you go to manage courses and categories. At present, we are managing. But if you remember on the dashboard, we could see our course because we have created it. What course we had created? We had created machine learning. So what I'm doing, I'm going to edit this. Now, what is going to happen? If I click on this setting button, what are the options? The gear, we can say. 
the moment i click on that gear i i open my option of editing my course now this is the thing this is the video that we had inserted it is possible for us to add an image here add a video this insert or edit an audio or video file you can record an audio suppose i and i'm still on the description page please remember i'm still on the description page now this is about managing the files i click here i manage certain files which are there though there is no file which i have added there is only what is moodle that i don't want to use here suppose like uh, one of our friends were asking whether we can upload let me check it for you so that this testing can improve this thing cit workshop schedule the older one so virtual teaching and upload the file this is the file and this is the file so i select this one and i say update this is the file and I will say download no I don't want to I'll just upload it I'll close this option where is the button here it is and we we don't have that thing here but when we are going to save it we'll check it out here only this is the question one of the faculty asked images image GIF JPEG and PNG course summary file so let me do the course summary I'm going to add an image to the summary I'm not adding any image to like uh, to explain something i'm just adding something so i'm adding the course summary through this image we are still on the course designing we are still designing the curriculum this is the academic council type of thing topic format we have deselected in the appearance number of announcements on the home page show grade books to the students do you want to see them their grades later on all these things are here show activity reports see what it is there activity reports are available for each participant that shows their activity in the course they can see what the people have done they can see what are the access logs when the people had logged in when the people logged out all these things are there a teacher can always see it that i will share with you where files and uploads maximum upload is 100 mb we are going to keep it as 100 mb even a student can upload a 100 mb file role renaming I had done let me mem I can I can delete it I'm deleting all these things because it's it's not a thing which is compulsory but certain times like we want to do it we can do it now I am going to click on save and return and see where I'm going to land after this changes may not be saved means let them be I'm just returning I'm not I did not click on save and display please remember because I'm returning to the same option so there are two options one is save and return one is save and display now you see what i have done i have added this image and these things because if i click on save and return i'm going to return in the same menu where the site administration settings were done if i click on save and display i'm going to land where i'm going to see my course so i it the course has been displayed I did not return to the site administration thing I have displayed my course and now I am on the dashboard if you can see on the left hand side on the top ML is written for machine learning suppose I click on the word Moodle Moodle means I'm going to the home page so here is the home page friends this is the home page you can see again that customize this 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 is there and can you see the course categories if you see the course categories these are the two uh, can someone tell me to which category I had added the machine learning, Moodle training or life skills? Moodle training or life skills, to which category? Okay, Moodle training. I'm going to click on Moodle training. The moment I, this is my dashboard and the students will also have their own dashboard. In under the Moodle training, see, there is subcategory student training, but there is no course under it. But this course is there called machine learning see i had given an image i had given a video i had given an image i had given a video can you see this thing i'm not willing to add a new course i have just opened the category i have not opened the course if i click on machine learning only then the course will be opened for me at present i'm still on the dashboard courses moodle training category in the category what i'm doing i have seen i'm checking what is there in the category one is subcategory one is a course 
so this is the video now you can say why i cannot see how the students will see i'm going where i'm going now i'm going on the top where the profile was there you see switch role to please see option was profiles earlier the edit uh, editing was done through the profile you can also go to dashboard from here but i'm going to switch role to this is an important thing in between whenever you people are doing something how it will be look it will be visible to the students you can check you click on switch role to now what role you people want me to display i'll say i am the admin at present but i want to see how it will look to a student i click on student now you see here if you can see this thing I, I i'll just highlight this thing for you if you can see here you can see the word student has appeared it means at present i am a student i am looking at the things as a student if you people have managed your facebook profile we had the setting that we could see how our profile will look to others now this is how it will look to the student this is the course description that they will be able to play when the people are enrolled and this is the image i click the course and those editings that you people were doing will not be done by the student if the student clicks on topics there is nothing in the topics or nothing opens the student clicks on announcements now see if there are any announcements there are no announcements also now so what i do i go back and i say switch role to I'm going to switch my role again to the course creator. I'm the course creator. So I'm the course creator. But even more than like that thing, the, the button is normal role. So what I did, I have clicked it. I'm, uh, I'm just doing it again. Click on the right hand side top where the profile image is there. Drop down, switch your role to. You can switch your roles and check it out how it looks to others. You can like you click on student, authenticated user, authenticated user on the front page, how they will look. But there is nothing. Every page can be viewed by you as a student or as the manager. So, but I'm returning to my normal role so that I can make the changes. So that I can make the changes. Now I'm I have returned to my normal role, so there is nothing here. So I'm coming back to announcements, nothing here. What I'll do, I'll come to my ML. Here the abbreviation or the short form will be, dis will be displayed by us. Now this is there. There is no course in my dashboard. Murli Monji, have you created a course? If you have created a course, you have to make it visible and your dashboard should have display the courses through the add block thing. Customize your desktop, add a course. Customize your desktop and then click on add a block and then click on courses. It will be easy for you to display the course. As you can see, I clicked on Moodle. This is my dashboard. And the course categories is there. I had added the course categories. Here add block is not visible. So I click on customize this page. Now see, I'm clicking on customizing this page. I'm clicking on add a block. I'm clicking on that I want to see my course overview. Okay, I can keep my course overview here. I'll tell you why that thing is not visible. Probably that might be uh, the reason with you. Stop customizing this page. Everything that you open has to be stopped. Everything that you switch on has to be switched off. Now here, if you see, these are the course, course categories and these are the private files which had been uploaded by me in my account. Here you will see the category. If you do not see that category, go to site administration. Go to courses, go to manage courses and categories. See, these are the courses, these are the categories. Ensure that this I is not hide. It has to be unchecked. Now it is hidden. Now it is open, visible. This is hidden. This is visible. This is hide and this is show. So these all these things have to be shown and then it will be there. Now let me select modal training. Modal training is already on the top. So sorting is 
this category is sorted so this will appear on the on the, on the dashboard if you people are done with the add block thing thank you and please give it time certain times your course will also start appearing on the left hand side at present it is not appearing but there is a possibility that it will start appearing here but before that this dashboard is being customized so we can enter the course i'm entering the course machine learning now i have clicked on this here you see what error i am going to do if i like if i if i keep a student word here then it will be troublesome for me i won't be able to edit anything so i need to ensure that i am still in my normal role yes i'm in my normal role this is the course everyone now see now one of the most important things when you people are going to open your your you say course suppose this is the course i'm clicking this thing and i want you people to keep a close eye here i want you people to keep a very close eye on this gear button which is just in front of your course this one please keep a very close eye it is equally important as the site administration thing was the same way your site administration is important the same way this is also important so this button you will press it once you will press it you will find there is a button called turn editing on you cannot do anything to these things without turning the editing on and the moment i am able to click here you see turn editing on the moment i click on edit settings or i click on turn editing on now what i do i'll show you what comes in the turn editing uh, on before that let's see edit settings the moment you click on edit settings after opening the course the same thing comes here it is someone had asked how to edit the same things the course format the appearance the file uploads the role renaming i'm again getting back see this is what it is the dashboard courses moodle training category under that course it is the ml and then we go to edit settings under the edits edit settings here it is turn editing on edit settings i go to edit settings i can edit my course as i did when i created it but i'm moving on not to edit the beginning of the course i'm willing to add the contents and everything because we must start it by now turn the editing on turn the editing on editing is turned on and you'll see the whole design will change now you can see pencils have come and everything everything has come if you people can see this all these gears and something these pencil is there what i did i clicked on this gear and i turned the editing on now if i say turn editing off now you can see all these rights that were given to me are gone i can i can click on it but i cannot add on anything but we are the teachers or the owners of this course the creators so we are going to go to turn editing on you can see all these features also more reset share import restore you can click on restore you can bring the backup from other courses also that you have created but at present basic learning is there so we are not using them we'll be clicking on more post lunch or tomorrow and then we'll find what beautiful things are there very interesting things turn editing on now here it is announcements you want to keep them as announcements yes let me say opening of the course and here there is no save button so important thing press enter do not wait search for something you simply type it here first what do you call it opening of the session or opening of the codes or important info for student anything this is an announcement page you will see what it is there but you have to press enter only then it will be there and now what is this it is a it is a forum how to go to course from dashboard uh, priya ji have you like got it displayed there if it, uh, yes i am having left side okay nalini ji you have already got it you have to display it go to customize this page of the desktop and add something 
fine it is visible through site admin we will manage with it at for now because it's a small thing we'll do it later but at present we are in the course and editing the course and adding the contents you have been asked to keep two topics some files ready some youtube links also now important uh, info for students topic one topic two topic three topic four so what we are doing is we want to add something here important info for students and now this button this blue and green icon when you click here you will see what it is i have clicked on it and this particular thing is opening which is an option that you people can add students will be able to do all these things here important info for students now you know what is this this is a forum can you see if you know forum forums are discussion houses so the announcements for the students means that you are announcing something and this is what you do when you open your semester suppose what i'm doing is i'm adding a topic i click on topic and now subject is message This is announcement you can add an attachment also like you can upload the syllabus itself so what I'm doing is I am going to upload the syllabus suppose I'm using the same file that way and I'm uploading the file at present I'm uploading it under important information for students okay this 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 error will be rectified students spelling we'll do it because we gave it a heading we have to get back display period till what time you want it to be displayed you say i want this announcement to be displayed till the end of the semester even if someone is joining in between the person can see you see uh, if the syllabus is pasted in the classroom itself or on the notice board anyone who's joining late can see the information but if you remove it anyone who's late will not be able to join so i'm creating a forum announcement forum is created a teacher has made an announcement but the spelling of student was wrong and anything that you post if you want to edit it you can edit for 30 minutes only and after that it goes public and nobody can edit it so but i need to edit so what i do i'm going to edit the settings edit setting description all these things are same everywhere so here is the error students i go to the bottom save and display rather than saying save and return to the course because this was the only editing i wanted to do now this is one forum if you want to see how the student will see it you will go to the top switch your role see it as a student this is how the students are going to see it they will click here they can download it they can give their feedback to it they can put their queries also this is what is the opening assignment once we are done with attaching everything then the demo will be given to you because you people will have the course made by you, made by you and made for you also see topic one two three four is there but no we don't we don't want it we want something to happen to the topics now this is the path dashboard to enrollment call forum so let me go back to ml ml is my machine learning now again i am here here i will click i'll say turn editing off oh it is already on so that is good thing so what i'll do i'll go to the pencil i click edit the topic name i click here what should be the first topic in machine learning can someone type in the chat anything the first unit for machine learning please 
okay supervised learning and linear regression i'm using these two topic one is l i n e linear r e g r e regression press enter what was it supervised learning linear regression organic chemistry okay fine let's get organic chemistry in it o r g a n i c c h e m i s t r y what i'm doing under the machine learning thing i'm adding these topics topic 4 simulation now you see four topics are done i feel more topics are required i'll click on here add topics how many topics you want i say only one is required i'll say add topics so new topic will be added and because these were four topics so the fifth one is added and now fifth one i am working on is assessment and no assignments we can give for everything like we'll say for assessment final so these are the things everyone what i have done i have gone to dashboard to courses to moodle training to the course inside under the course i clicked on this gear and i said turn the editing on let me off it i'm again doing the same thing from the beginning going to moodle okay we'll add indian literature food chemistry and everything but you add that to your course so this is how i click on moodle training category if i am not able to go or reach here i go to site administration uh this one thing one thing one thing that i also wanted to tell wait uh make uh, these all menu items a very close friend of yours you must have remembered site administration dashboard now click on site home and when you click on site home website home you see all this thing this is this is a video which is there this is the course if you do not find your course you can also click on site home and there the course will be found not on the dashboard if not on the dashboard because you have made your course open oh i am in a student mode just a second no okay in that in the course i was a student one i i'll get to the manager one thank you now it is manager let me go to the normal one because normal means the one who has created everything return to normal now you see this is the course and please remember this gear button everything is here at present if i have been insisting you on you to remember things what you remember is after creating the account the profile thing customize the dashboard is there but those are minor things for you you people are smart enough to work on these things where the general users miss things that is called go to site administration go to category create a course open the course and then give a title to the course give a description to it decide the course format as topic or weekly activity or some social format you decide topic tell it how many topics will be there then set the dates from which date to which date it is going to run and then you simply save and display if you say save and display what you can see now will appear topic 1 2 3 if you say save and return you will still remain there what is the difference between course creator and switching to normal sir all those roles have got certain limitations the moment i say course creator and the moment i say normal that is same but they define it as normal because uh, in the advanced settings it is possible for you to change the permissions which are given to different users so primarily if suppose like let me let me show this thing to you if i click here and i go to switch my role what are the roles there the roles are choose a role to get an idea how someone because all these are the roles that you people can assign to others as the course admin at present you are the course admin so if i click on course creator there is a possibility uh, teacher that you can make other people course creators you can make other people teachers but you remain the course admin so we are the course admin at present there is a possibility that i can make you a teacher in my course but i will not give you the 
right to edit anything the correct to edit anything you simply teach you will simply deliver the course all these things are there but at present you are making a course for yourself so everyone this is there there is no editing possible i go to this gear the magical thing turn editing on and here it is now under this thing you want that something else should be added important info for students because this is the very first thing which opens the course and these are your units i click on add <clears throat> add an activity or resource till now any query i click on <clears throat> add an activity or resource and now the bundle opens if you can see this thing these are the beautiful things which are there and this is what it makes uh, Moodle unique uh, Murli Mohanji keep on doing the good things now see again add an activity and resource this possibility appears for you only when you turn the editing on without opening the lock you cannot enter the house so add an activity or a resource and please see the description options add a video add an audio add a file all are same in throughout the moodle site assignment can be added but why to add an assignment right in the beginning when we are talking about announcement so let's add chat this is a plugin or this is an addition the moment you click here this is the description how it is being used and you should be reading it you should read how it was checked activity module how it works so regular meetings are there so i click on add now chat is going to be added right in the beginning what is this i'll say i n t e r a c interaction box or students i have named the chat adding a new chat okay general description is i will say e v e r y every day 10 am suppose i'm giving it a time and why i'm saying suppose because here you will see chat sessions next chat time 29 because it will happen every day you say i want it to start at 10 in the morning so what i do i'll say at 10 a.m on 29th april the chat session will start repeat or publish the sessions i'll say at the same time every day at the same time every week every week or every day i'll say every day we want to have a chat so i'll say this never delete the messages now all these things are there you say fine now there is a button called restrict access and and to to tell you this restrict access this description thing all these things are same across moodle if you want to add a topic you want to add an assignment whatever you people are going to add these things will there so if once i tell you what is rest restrict access it is applicable on everywhere wherever this button will come i'll say add and restriction date till which date you don't want them to edit or after which date you don't want them to edit say i don't want them to access this thing even if i have given this chat option before 38th chat option will not be there student must match the following from until until means till 38th this, these are two things you can add restrictions i am removing it what other is there you can add user profile you will say that so and so like user profile field uh, a student who has got this first name and the first name is Parveen should not be allowed to participate in the chat this is what you enter once you are restricting it because see you can ask a student to mo move out of the class you can ask a student to stay in the class but don't do anything and certain things are there that you want in the virtual also that is about controlling the class so the restrictions can be placed on everything that you people are going to add be it an assignment be it anything i'm going to save and display and you'll see the chat box will be displaying i'm saving and displaying here it is click here to enter the chat now see uh, wait i'm going to ml 
here it is restricted not available unless your first name is Praveen Look, this is the restriction the both ways I said must match if you see when I was I click on edit I click on edit setting I'll again land on land in editing the chat thing restrict access what I did uh, in the restrict access I say must match I say must not match so these things are possible for you must not match and restriction is whosoever has got a name which is not matching with this will be restricted will not be restricted these are all the things which are there what I have used till now is I have used the date restriction that there are four units but you do not want them to attempt the fourth unit straight away you want them to see the first one so we put restriction on every topic every single day one topic will be opening because like you go to the class and you teach a topic so these restrictions will be placed once we are making the contents these things we don't touch generally i'll say save and return to the course i have removed the restriction and you will see there's no restriction at present now the restriction is not there interaction box for students if you want to see how it works let me tell you interaction box for students i open it i'll say click here to enter the chat now but the live chat will be there at what time you know 10 a.m now this is the you say chat box we have i'll say hello my name is Veen. i am learning to make moodle site so these are the messages which have been sent by virt virtual teaching in the chat and then other people can also chat it's a real time chat so this is the chat we can use this is a this is a resource we can add when we go to course finding that editing is still on suppose these two things are required there's one more thing that i i want to tell you here suppose you have got a course image there is a there's a banner there is a poster you have made you go for the word label you click on label you see what labels are these are multimedia to be inserted in the page itself i say label or even if you people don't have you see you don't have an image or you have an image both ways see i'm adding a label general text is labels text i n t r o d u c to p r e s e n t presentation skills if this is the label and I can select, I can uh, provide it bold font, I can put it in the center and now what I want is, I want a video, I'll say insert, I can insert an audio also, I record this, see I click on this mic icon, start recording. We all are learning under the machine learning how to make a demo course this course is made for the teachers across india who are learning how to make their moodle site we can see that this recording can go for two minutes only check recording we all are learning attach attached open you know i had copied a url of uh, this video click here just a second this is what go to video paste it here and insert media my audio is here my video is here this and you know what i'm doing i'm adding a label and where the label is added at the very first thing which is not a topic but which is the announcement segment only okay save and return to the course can you see this here is the video here is the audio what i have done i have added the label and if i switch it to the student role you see how the student will be able to see here is the student the student will have this this is the page for the student all these units are there if i can restrict it here a word restrict will be written and the student will not be able to click on it at present we haven't placed the restrictions now see this is the video which is there i placed a label 
that is why it is directly visible if i would have placed a page or something it would have been there and the one has to click and then enter this is the video this is the audio recording we all are learning under the machine learning how to make a demo course now this is the announcement segment we haven't added anything to the contents uh, moving on to the same normal role because as a student i can just see how it will look to the students i cannot add anything i'll click on turn editing on because if editing is off i cannot make any changes these are the things now let us see i i in the interaction box and this is the label labels name is introduction to presentation skills and i click on edit i click on edit setting please see these things will come again and again if you click here same things if you click here same things you click on edit settings and then you can edit all this thing that you people have added now this is what we have added let me do one thing that they will not be able to see this thing till 30th of it add a restriction and then save and return to the course i'm putting a restriction you can see there's a restriction available on this but because i'm the admin i can play let me show you through uh, the student thing okay student now here it is restricted this thing is restricted for the students again i'm telling you because i'm still the admin i can just see how it looks if if a student is going to look at it the student will have restricted they will not be able to like see or open it i'm again getting back to the normal role that until and from has to be changed if you people have noted i might have uh, brought the from thing i can make it until also available from 30th of april from 30th of april it will be available before that the students can see an icon but cannot click on it now i will be clicking on turn editing on and we are going to move on to add the contents and the moment i will add contents to one unit the same thing can be done to others linear regression i say add an activity or resource now these are the resources attendance attendance we can take in, take in the beginning but we won't do it let me go to the easy ones first i'm adding a page i'm adding a page everyone add an activity or a resource adding a page i'm adding a page and what is the name of the page e x no we'll say d e f i definition and e x an explanation now here uh, here you can add just a minute a second you can put your queries in the chat box don't worry now I'm opening up any article like you people have got some material written by you which is prepared by you now you copy the contents of uh, your word document and then you copy it suppose you have got it in the word document i am just making it now here it is and what you want is because i have brought the formatting so what you can do is either you can brought the same formatting or play paste it as plain text then the formatting that was there will not come all those boldness and everything is gone or i can keep it paste I want to make it bold bold I want to make it center so I drop and then say center these things are there but suppose I want something to be the main you say word the main thing I want it to be heading so what I do I click here and see heading large headings medium heading small pre-formatted or paragraph I go with large so you see the size is increased now what I'm doing is I am making a blog type of thing for them now here it is and then display description on the course page now what i did wrong was i have pasted everything in the description what i'll do i'll keep the description here the first paragraph and rest i will 
cut from here and we'll put it now this is the description segment description please see this is the page content so i'm putting the contents here this is the explanation this is the basic definition of something and then do you want to display it on the course page the student should see it you'll say no there is no need the student will be able to see only the heading this you can add anything to it suppose i i feel that i should add a video to it so i have written something i have typed here it is like a website article with all the videos i can put an image here i can browse i can search i can go to pictures and and then maybe i can uh, add, add 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 suppose i add uh, the flag of nepal it is there saved because we worked with some teachers there training them for something suppose image must have a description i'll say no description necessary all i'll say nepal flag suppose we'll say the design of machine you know why this is required because sometimes the image will not open and if image will not open and still you can enable the student to see the description it is helpful or you can click on description not necessary you can save the image the image has entered into the article you can see you can bring it to the center also as you do in the word document thing and if you want to add a video also here you can add a video you can add an audio also this is the first chapter shared with you definition and the explanation so this is what i'm speaking listen to this thing and then get ready for the next chapter you can also put the text or you can also put a complete audio of 2 minutes each here so that the students can listen to them if you do not want them to read at present dear friends we have inserted an audio now another thing that at the bottom i can add is i can add i can record a video also with your front camera of your laptop it can be recorded i'm not doing it i have added an image i have added audio now i will show this thing to you audio video or a link let me enter the link for further reading source url enter the name edmodo notes blog insert you can see this is here now they can click on it and they will land on a particular website this is about giving the the things that you want them to land on now again restrict access you can restrict access on everything that you add be it a page or a chapter or anything anything that you people are there uh, copyright if copied uh, sir i copied it from my own website a uh, here it is point 1 point 2 this website allows you uh, we'll be talking about this thing don't worry i'll be sharing with you what are the creative commons licenses and how to Uh, find out the things which are not copyrighted the filters and everything do not use something which doesn't allow a use free you can cite them i have cited certain things the you can make citations even that is that is not the infringement of copyright if if they allow the thing which is about attribution we'll be working on this this website allows attribution so what i can do here is i can like what i have done this uh, this thing i have pasted a r t i article source i've given the source now fine so no restriction nothing save and return to the course because there is more to do so we are returning to the course if this was the only thing to be done we would have gone back to display now can you see definition and explanation is there let's add one more thing no not to this we'll add definition explanation added let's add one more thing page you have added uh url let us add one url because you just want them to jump to something let's open another article somewhere uh motivation uh sachin sir you can share your doubts no problem copyright is if copied see uh, i you cop why would you copy see we decided one thing in the beginning that that construction of the content is there one second you will be informed by me 
in these two days what are the free sites what are the creative common site where you can take you can go and take material which is not copyrighted so we'll assist you in those things and if something is copyrighted if it is your copyright you share it if it is my copyright and i have allowed the reuse of it by citation you do it not a problem you also use books from the library even they are copyrighted that way do not share something which is copyrighted and prohibits its use develop your own material and if it is free do check it out whether they want attribution or they do not want an attribution so i'm just taking this url going back name of the url this is the url name of the url is time for caution not for daring i'm just bringing it here suppose i bring something of for machine learning i put the title here i put the des description here no this has come out because as it is copy paste will bring the hyperlink so i'll say paste as plain text but i don't want this font to be that big so i click here i'll make it small but i want it to be bold i can type a description here this is thus we will read the blog now i do i want the description i'll say yes go to the home page the course page you will see what difference is there about dis, uh, displaying the description there is no other thing why why would you add a content when you are adding a url so this is the url we have added this is the name we have added appearance url variables we are not changing i'm not changing anything save and return to the course now sachin ji you do share your doubts i'm there not a problem uh, ppt files let's do that thing also i'm going to slide share suppose this is the powerpoint presentation this is the link here it is under organic let me add one more url i'll go to the url thing add this this is the url that i just copied this is a say adding link to pres and pati presentation i just added uh, enrollment post lunch we'll be talking about you can check the agenda which is there with you we'll be working on and uh, without ensuring that you people have got to, how to develop a course then only then we'll be moving on to this thing can you see site administration was there and there is one more button called participants so don't worry it is a you what do you call a small process then making a course there are three four steps in participants thing and then in one go you will learn about it i just added now can you see there is a there is a there, the description is here time for caution not for daring but here i did not select the description to be displayed on the course page it is not there so what i have added till now i have added a page i have added a what is this url let me add one more activity uh let me add a file i want them to download a file these things i wish that you people explore in the evening when people will be working on hands on now what i'm saying now it is adding a file to down let me name uh, like it the way we are doing it now this is the description this is the file description is download the file i click here i upload the file if it is already not there with me i go to the desktop i'll say this is the file i want to add or 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 day 3 day 4 day 5 okay i'm adding for you a pdf i'm searching for the pdf 
95 pages report here it is i'm adding you are looking at one thing whenever i'm adding a file you can see there's a creative commons and all these things these are the licenses uh, i guess sachin sir was asking all rights reserved i'm uh, asking that i'm using creative commons where i want them to cite other than that i don't want anything just to where if someone is using this material they should cite it belongs to us um i can put all rights reserved with it also okay i'm going with all rights reserved and say upload the file okay file is not attached i missed that thing let me open a smaller one a smaller one can be can be can be can be in your also this okay going with the Mm -mm. Okay, we'll go with the same CIT workshop schedule uploading the file The file is uploaded here are the two files one is this one is this I can click here. I can say I don't want them to have this I deleted one is there ampgc 95 things all these things are there Restrict access is again here, but again because the all these options will appear in everything every resource or activity you will add Uh, plagiarism sir we will we'll talk about it because that is an important thing and when we'll be having a small short session of 30 minutes maybe tomorrow on creative commons use of copyrighted material and and uh, uh, how to like manage those things we'll we'll have a discussion a serious discussion on it see adding a file file to download we have added four things now let's go to organic chemistry we can go to our, now what I can add is uh, these are the plugins or the resources I have activated the you all of you will not see all of them please don't and don't worry about it tomorrow we'll be getting into the back end and then we'll be uh, we'll be starting them though Webex is written here zoom is written here still these are not active Jitsi is active quiz can be added but how to design a quiz we are yet to learn so tomorrow this will be learned I can add a quiz because we'll be working on the same uh, I can add a label page URL these three things you have seen I can add a folder also then they can download the folder I can add a book let's add a book now how that book is being added you'll also see that now we are this is the book description how to add a book to now this is about the book what I have done is I have just given a name I have just added a name uh, we can add attendance I know you people are tempted to it don't worry we will be talking about attendance uh, it's a very nice tool which is there but I'm keeping it for tomorrow once you have designed a course once you have uh, created the material in it attendance the other thing which is about uh, quiz making all these things will be done tomorrow attendance we are going to add I'll show you how it is being like added and how it works though I know some of you will be trying it in the evening and you people will be learning it by yourself as well so i have added what i have added i have just added the name and description of the book i have not added anything to the book after adding this particular thing added adding a book i'm clicking again once i have brought this thing to my course now i will be adding the things to the book here it is what is the chapter one i'll say chapter one and what are the contents the contents are suppose I am going to like uh, something I am just going to an article and then we will bring chapter 1 contents and you know you have got a, a word document of a book which is made by you now please remember this is not the copyright thing will always be there and I am no one to give a policy statement on it you know how to use material uh, developed by others and if you do not know you need to keep uh, yourself safe about it Oh, I guess I clicked on Powtoon. Okay, that has got less material. Suppose I do this. 
and it is possible for me even in the book segment even if i am creating a chapter it is possible for me like adding contents to a page to a chapter editing and I can uh, provide it boldness. I can increase the size of it as you can design it as a chapter as you people do. So these things are possible. I'll say, okay, in, uh, here I want what? What do I want? I'm making a chapter. I click on this I. I decide the font size. I click on this show more buttons. I'll say I want to add a table. I say the table, the table is users of machines position uh, on the on the bottom generally we get it row 3 no rows 4 and columns 5 see here is the table suppose these are the names of some districts or states And this is how I have added the table. It is possible for the users of machine is you say the thing I did. It is possible for me that I can like bring my table. Probably these things can be centered. And when the position of the table was there, I can I could have brought it to the center also. Otherwise, this thing is here on one side. Insert table was there. In my chapter, I want to put something here from this. I'll say, okay, I'm doing all these things. And I'm just clicking it on it randomly, understanding that I don't know mathematics. Save the equation. Now the equation will be saved and it will be displayed for you. Don't worry. At present, this is the text code, code, code that way. And then when I will save it, and it will be something which will be visible as a code itself. I'll say save the changes. you can see just a second I guess I yeah here it is it refreshed now this is the this is the equation I typed now this is something which is called chapter 1 I have added chapter 1 I'll go click on the plus and I'll say chapter 2 students will get it as a book suppose I don't want to add it as like some some contents chapter 2 the contents the contents will come from here I'm just copy pasting something random suppose I bring only this much and then give it multiple copies here it is and I can uh, add those things you can see audio in the chapter video in the chapter insert audio and image suppose you have images already made by you which are related to the machine diagrams or something in something you can bring all those images here and they be, and those images will become a part of your book uh, suppose like we have got this image of covid virtual author is this you can write the name of the author like wikipedia or pixabay or someone all right reserved or creative commons creative commons upload a file bottom i'll say okay you keep it there this image should have a description i'll say no description required save the change the book here it is i'll save i'll just i'm just looking at the chat now uh, i have a suggestion can you please explain the copyright issues at first uh, then we will go further as this is the most important issue uh, Ruchika Kurana ji, yeah, this is the most important issue. That is why it should not be taken in between when we are already engaged with the process. So we are at present engineering uh, the site. Once the um, I'm done with all these things, then I feel that uh, every one of you will be will be relieved. We'll work on this thing. Copyright issue is simple. 
if it is allowed use it if it is not allowed don't use it that is one line statement i can give you and what is allowed and what is not allowed for that thing there is something which is already there with me but i need time for that thing i said those 60 minutes or 30 minutes are required on the slide share let me share with you in advance so that my my time is being it can be can be saved also let me share with the with everyone i'm sharing with you how to use e contents so let it come to you if you people are like curious about it not a problem this is the presentation about licenses and uh, we'll work on it uh, the, there are two things now if something is copyrighted of course everybody knows we can use it only to 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 play place it with a citation and we cannot make money out of it but when you people are going to create material and you want it want people to use it but you want them not to use it as something public but you want them to use it as something which is having some restricted you say things so we'll this presentation is the same presentation i'll be explaining to all of you but i have shared it in advance i'm moving on to adding i have added two chapters everyone now i'm coming back to give you a look how it looks to the student the course student i will be dispersing virtually for lunch after 10 minutes 5 minutes in a way and after that we'll join post lunch in 40 minutes or so you and or as vijay sir will suggest see this is the chapter i can click here i can click here also chapter 2 chapter 1 i can click this is how the book will be created this is not a, a design which is a commercial design it's a simple one these chapters will be there with the student he can click on the chapters and these chapters will appear sometimes you do not want it to be just a blog or a downloaded website downloaded you say article now what i have been doing is i have been editing all these things let me go back to the first thing so that again we can go back to the course okay still student normal role now these are this is the category i enter the category either i go to dashboard or i go to site home but i have to reach my course this is the course machine learning what we have demonstrated to you at, till now is let me let me like please ask a question you can you can student download i am just a, yes sir i i uploaded a file and this is what i want them to download the moment i am uploading a file it means they can download it we have done what add activity and resource we did forum at page url label what else we did we just did a book and we did a file these are the things we have uh, like done we have tried doing them so i'm coming back to the course label is if you want something to be displayed on the page itself you don't want the students to click then the label will be there and these are the things we have added added we have added a book suppose we want to add something into engine design we can add it why would we add attendance though on this topic uh, we can see glossary and this is the last thing before lunch glossary i am adding and the glossary I'm adding is into uh, engine. This is glossary. Suppose I'm adding one glossary and it will be for all terms. Glossary. And it's collaborative also is it a global one yes it is global global means it relates to everything or it is it is related to only one unit i'll say i'm adding it here but it relates to everywhere how many entries approved by default if the student adds an entry because it is a collaborative one your students will be also able to add uh, 
the term and its description suppose you can uh, ask them to do it constructive being constructive and being collaborative is the quality of a teacher so if you allow them yes if you don't want them to like add something and it will not appear by default you can keep it no always allow editing no once they have entered something it should not be edited by them duplicate entries are allowed no allow comments on entries no automatically link glossary to entries will say yes and again such things are there restrict access and all these things to be explored save and return to the course now uh, i request someone to type the definition of a machine definition of an engine or some other definition that you want to add type something information from wiki shall we use all rights reserved no wiki is a creative Commons, sir when you open the wikipedia you know it has got a license which allows we we need to cite though we need to cite it has got a creative commons license please like uh, without explaining the creative commons if you are asking me these questions it will create a small diversion glossary please give me the definition of something a machine or something or let me this is the glossary everyone add a new entry the concept is Moodle and it is learning management system good suppose I have I'm entering this thing here and in this also I have done this thing as bold in the glossary also I can add an image all these things recent files okay let me add this okay description not necessary Moodle is very particular about the things like we are doing so it will ask you again and again do you want an attachment to the glossary I'll say no I'll say save changes I'm just looking at the chat uh, you have not provided me with any definition of a machine or engine or any technical thing but still a machine is very nice I just got one and thank you Divyaji and just two more minutes I'm adding a new entry and it is going to with the letter M if you say M A C H I N M A C H I N E machine I'm just saving it without doing further things just to like I know that you people will be requiring to move now this there is no entry a machine is there suppose I search here M A C H I N E I know that it will be coming to me now here is machine if I say Moodle and if I had added it I guess it will also appear here is Moodle everyone because I made my glossary with M suppose I click on M all the things which are with M will be there and this glossary will be visible and glossary you know like we are replacing that teaching in which you are the actual owner the master the caretaker the helper so if you are if you are replacing it why to just replace the attendance thing that we rather than being conscious more about attendance and evaluation let's be more conscious about the support that we people are able to give to the students virtually that we have been giving them personally also this these are the entries that the students can make moving on to the domain and to show you how it appears and then you people can move out for lunch Vijay sir over to you we have done the thing still glossary